Hello, welcome back to the Bright School of English here in Bournemouth. Today we're going to look at have to, must, mustn't and don't have to. Four, obligation, prohibition and no obligation. For many students, have to, must and don't have to can be very confusing. What I'm going to try and do in this lesson is clarify that for you, the difference between have to and must and don't have to. I'd like to begin by looking at must and have to. What's the difference between must and have to? Have to and must are very similar. We use both of them to talk about things which are necessary and we are obliged to do. But there are differences. So I'm going to highlight the differences now. Both have to and must are followed by the infinitive without to. So what is the difference between have to and must? Have to we use more for external obligations. I have to drive on the left. I have to go to work. These are external obligations, things which are necessary. Must, we tend to use more for personal obligations, things which I think are necessary. I must go to the bank this afternoon. I must do my homework. I have to work on Saturday. My boss said I have to work on Saturday. You have to have a license to drive a car. It's the law. So we use have to for general obligations, rules which apply to everybody, and we use them for external obligations. I must call my mother tonight. This is me talking to me. I think this is necessary. These aren't rules and regulations or external obligations. These are internal obligations. I must go to the gym this week. I want to get fit. There's nobody telling me I have to go to the gym. This is me talking to me. The good news. The good news is we can use must or have to for personal obligations. So actually we can use have to for both of these. If you're not sure which one to use, use have to. It's always right. Now let's look at mustn't. We use mustn't for prohibition and negative obligation. For example, you mustn't smoke in here. Shh! You mustn't make a noise. The children are sleeping. So we use mustn't for obligation. You must be quiet. You mustn't make a noise. You have to be quiet. 
you mustn't make a noise. Notice, and this is really important, must, negative, mustn't. Have to, negative, mustn't. Which brings us on to don't have to. And this is an area where students often get confused. We have obligation, 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 no obligation. Now students often get mustn't and don't have to confused. So let's try and clarify this. We used mustn't for prohibition. You mustn't do that. You mustn't smoke in here. We use don't have to for no obligation. I don't have to do that. It's not necessary. For example, I don't have to work on Saturday. I work Monday to Friday. It's the weekend, I don't have to work. I'm wearing a tie today, but I don't have to. I decided to, but I don't have to. There is no obligation to wear a tie. So let's have a look at some examples together. I have to get to work on time. This is a general external obligation. This is my job. I must tidy my room before my friends arrive. This is a personal obligation. There's no law that says I have to, I, I want to. I mustn't be late for school. I have to get to work on time, positive. I mustn't be late for school, negative obligation. I don't have to cook tonight, we're getting a takeaway. It's not necessary for me to cook. Now, with mustn't, we can also use can't and not allowed to. You can't smoke in here. You're not allowed to smoke in here. You mustn't smoke in here. Again, we use have to, to talk about external general obligations. We use must to talk about more personal obligations. And we use mustn't, can't, or not allowed to, to talk about things we can't do, things which are prohibited. I just want to briefly look at past obligation. So, the past of have to is had to. When I was at school, I had to wear a uniform. The past of must. Now, for obligation, there is no past of must. So, to talk about the past, again, we use had to. I had to go to the bank this morning. Equally with mustn't, we have no past form. So we have to use couldn't or was or weren't allowed to.
When I was at school, we couldn't wear jeans. When I was at school, we weren't allowed to wear jeans. Again, present, have to, past, had to. Present, must, past, had to. Present, mustn't, past, couldn't, wasn't or weren't allowed to. Once again, the, the most common mistake we find as teachers that students make is confusing mustn't with don't have to. Here's an example. You mustn't use your phone in class. Does not mean the same as you don't have to use your phone in class. This is incorrect. Don't have to is no obligation. Mustn't is obligation. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. Um, for more videos and to learn more about our school, the Bright School of English here in Bournemouth, please go to our website, which is brightenglishschool.com. See you next time.